Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com and today I'm be going over the top five tweaks I downloaded as soon as I jailbroke my iPhone yesterday. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. Okay, so the first tweak I downloaded was Byte SMS. Byte SMS is a messaging application on steroids. It makes the basic messaging stock iOS messaging application look like junk. It blows out of the water, it has quick reply, it has all these great little features inside the application. Now, I'm not going to open up and show it to you guys because a lot of you guys have been messaging me, all your phone numbers are there, I don't want to post that kind of information uh, just to you know save you guys your privacy. Uh, I will not be opening it, but take my word for it, it is well worth the purchase. Uh, so the second tweak I downloaded was OXO, which is a multitasking switcher that makes the again the stock iOS one look like junk this one gives you a nice little preview you see the application name and they just have these nice little cards and if you want to close an application you just swipe down that simple uh, I also love the music control UI everything looks fantastic uh, and then here quick toggles quick beautiful toggles by the way so you can go up you can get your cellular you can get your GPS you can get your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth all that great stuff right there so that was the second tweak I downloaded which was OXO so the third tweak I downloaded for my iPhone was Octopus Keyboard, which is a BlackBerry 10 style predictive text keyboard. Uh, as you guys will be able to see here, when I open it up, there's little words right above my keys. So when I'm typing things out, I can just swipe up if the word I want to type is already there. It's predicting as I'm going to type and it remembers you know, what I've typed frequently. So it makes it just quicker to text. So let's just type out something. My brain is the best so see the words popped up I just swipe up and they go there it just makes texting a lot faster and the more and more you use it the more and more it remembers how you type okay, so the fourth tweak I downloaded was password pilot now there's nothing really to show here but you go into settings and you go down and this application is configured right in here you just type in or you go to password pilot type in the password you use inside the app store so this way when you go to download an app and a password pops up you can actually just tap ok it pre-fills it or auto fills it rather with your password so you don't have to always type in your password um, so you can just press ok however I do recommend that if you use the device with a family member or you're constantly passing it around I wouldn't recommend this tweak just because somebody might use it and spend your money so be careful using this I do lock my device, so uh, I feel a little bit secure and safe doing this, but I, I wouldn't be handing it to a little kid to go around in the app store and play games. So the fifth tweak I downloaded was InstaSnap, which adds in a tap to snap option in your notification center, which this is just very convenient because I do sometimes use the tap to tweet, but I'm always taking pictures and posting them on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Matt Sholly, but here's what this tweak does. You just tap takes you right into Instagram, you're going to open up the camera application and you're ready to go. I did do a review of this on the channel as well. Um, but that was the fifth tweak I downloaded. I have downloaded a ton of more tweaks since then and just played around with stuff. I will be posting videos on those tweaks as soon as I feel comfortable with them and think they're reliable and stable. Some are not at this point in time. But that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did do a different kind of camera style here. So let me know if you guys liked it, disliked it, uh, and we'll go back to the old method. Or if you like it this way, we'll stick with this. Um, otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Matt Sholly, and leave your comments down below, and I'll be sure to respond to them. You guys have a wonderful day, and as always, peace.